Thanks to Misplay for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Declutter with Friends. Today I am helping my dear friend Michael declutter and organize two of his closets in his one bedroom apartment here in Los Angeles. Michael is actually super neat and tidy. I aspire to be as neat and tidy as he is, but these two closets were really creating a lot of tension and stress and he couldn't figure out how to maximize the space. And that's how it is when you're living in a smaller space and you have a rich life with a lot of things going on. You gotta get real creative with solutions. So he did a great job decluttering. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this episode. We do some running around town, getting organizing tools, and just getting everything out that was no longer a fit for his current life. If you're new here or you're back and you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, I hope you will. I'm trying to get to that 100K mark and it would help out so much. All right, let's get started. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the humble Western Ave above Melrose Hill. Melrose Hill. Hey, I'm Michael Wolf and I've lived here for six years. So outside it's like this kind of whatever 1920s old style LA noir kind of building. There are 14 apartments up here and mine's in the back. I'll show you around. So <laughs> this is the grand tour. One of the reasons that I wanted to do this with you, Carla, is because, you know, I've lived here for six years. I got in, I did the typical thing, which is like you declutter on your way out of an old place and then you kind of declutter on your, you know, as you start to move in and then you just plateau, you know what I mean? You paint a few walls and then life takes off. And so, you know, it's been like steady incremental progress, but I just recently did a big declutter and I really wanted to kind of get past that final hump. What I think is probably one of my final humps, just in terms of storage and, and organization. I'm so thrilled <laughs> that you're here and willing to do this. I told them it's gonna be painless. It's gonna be a painless <laughs> process. I'm so nervous I was like, <laughs> of my emotions. Am I really gonna be emotionally available for decluttering at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday morning? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for the faint of heart, Let's but. check in <laughs> that morning. I love all your furniture pieces. I feel like you got like unique pieces, like the leather couch, like that looks like a vintage piece behind you too. Yeah, so I did. I mean, some of these were, it's just been cobbled together and I like eclectic styles. A bunch of this stuff I got, like that piece, um, that chest and that mirror, that lamp, those came from, I think the Long Beach or the Rose Bowl flea market. The elephant was a find on the side of the street in Beverly Hills wow. when I first moved to town and he's been with me ever since. And the couch was a hand-me-down or sort of gift from a, an ex. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, ex. ex. <laughs> the chair's been with me since Albuquerque and since I lived in New Mexico. Ooh. And I just uh, never reupholstered it because I kind of liked the off awkward blue and that pillow the bear campfire pillow was my favorite purchase during the pandemic yeah and then this piece of art is alex soft he is a photographer one of my favorite photographers i just love something big and blown up um, in this small space i'm from iowa and i've been working on this novel historical novel uh for quite a while about an artist from iowa and uh, one day, uh, this guy who I who I'd known for a few years, he's a big plant nerd, and he said, "Hey, I've got a descendant of the plant that appears in the famous painting American Gothic by Grant Wood. It's on the porch behind the couple, you know, the farmer, oh, the pitchfork guy, yeah. farmer, and his his wife. So anyway, there are a couple of plants in the background on the porch in that photograph." They were the artist's mother's plants. Plant nerds over the decades have kept like uh, cuttings from mm -hmm. that original plant and propagated them. This is a descendant of the plant from that painting, American Whoa. Gothic. He shipped this to me in the mail, like a little seedling. It was just tiny when it came to me. It was just like one of these. It just was, it blew my mind that this thing sort of jumped out of a, an iconic American painting and now sort of sits in my place so that is the freaking coolest <laughs> I love it. that is actually quite an epic story i like that you have all these storage solutions like you feel i feel like you were very thoughtful like you have that closed storage piece and then you have this open one that kind of displays all of your books because michael's a writer probably have like all of your favorite books out it's most of my library i had to 
consolidate considerably when I, I I had probably five times or six times this many books. So I really had to go through and declutter my books, and that was hard because I'm a book lover. What is left here are like former teachers, their friends, or their autographed copies of books, or just favorite books, or books that hit me at a, at a certain time. <laughs>
Is that all the clothes from that closet? Any other clothes? They're what? Our shoes. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The shoes are their own thing. We'll do clothes first and then we'll do shoes. Any other clothing articles in there? Hiding in the crevices? No, if you say shoes are not clothes, we're good. We're gonna go like categories for Michael. We're gonna do all his clothes first, then we're gonna do shoes, then we'll do whatever other like linens are hanging out in there, and then we'll do like the bigger bulkier pieces. Okay, so maybe clothes for this one and shoes for this one. Bags for donation. You want this off? Is this like uh, a private thing? Well, it's like my ex gave it to me, and I'm like, do I get rid of it? Because it's like fun to have a leather jacket, but I never wear it. <laughs> and I'm like, really? Like, okay, is it a like sentimental thing, or like where it's like, oh, it's no, no, not anymore. But you it would sell. Do you want to sell pile? I think so. Yes, yeah, yeah, why a not? Pile. We can do crossroads. Okay. Because at least that is somewhere. Do you think there's multiple things that you'll have for selling? Probably just a few. Okay, yeah, let's start maybe this. some shoes and a couple jackets. Yeah, let's do this as like crossroads. Perfect. Yeah, this is like a substantial leather jacket. It is. Yeah, this will definitely sell. Uh, a suit. I have a suit which I need. It's like the black, the black suit. How about this one? That one. I never wear this anymore. No. I did the AIDS life cycle ride in 2013. When you fundraise and you hit certain milestones, you get like they give you swag. Yeah. So this is one of the hoodies. You love it. But it's like pilly. So do I need it? I don't know. You love it or do you just like it? I don't love it because it's like yeah. not in the best well, not, not in the best, the best shape. shape. It, I think it's a no for you. Bye. This is a no. This is this is seen better days. This is Iowa, an Iowa hooded sweatshirt. I'm gonna say to my mom's chagrin, I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, one. why to her yeah. chagrin? Which does she like? She's in Iowa. Oh. You know? I like this coat, but it's never fit me great. Try Very it. rarely. <laughs> I think I have a new blue coat that's actually Okay, better. then yeah, goodbye, Maureen. Um, it's nice, it's nice. You though. can definitely sell that, It'll I think, at, at a crossroads. Because right. it's very goodbye, look at you! I, it's, it's like the quality I don't love, but right. I've got so much good wear out of that. I don't wear this. Okay. No. So I don't wear this. Okay. So it's like all the clothes in there are like the clothes that were just like waiting to die. I just wonder what's gonna happen <laughs> come next winter. Like, where I kind of wear this and I kind of hate it. What do you do with that? Do you know those pieces that you're yes. like, why do I keep putting this on? I me? do actually. All right. It's California cool. All right, fine. So that's a key. Okay, so I'll, I'll take care of these while you continue. Be gone. Be gone. This I just bought. It's a ring jacket. I'll that's a key. Keep it. That's why you're here. Yes, it helps. This is my like one poofy winter jacket for when I go to Iowa or New York mm -hmm. once a year. A friend just gave this to me and I think I might hang on to it for a little longer. Okay. It's just like a hand me down. Mm -hmm. This is so large. That's a good one. No! The best part about decluttering, cleaning, organizing is after you do all the hard work, you get to have the reward of having maybe a clean surface or a perfectly organized drawer. It's very satisfying. You put in the work, you get the reward. If you like rewards, you're going to love the sponsor of today's video, Misplay. Misplay is an awesome loyalty app for those like me who love to play games. Basically, you can earn rewards simply by downloading and playing mobile games. You get points that can be redeemed for gift cards at places like Amazon, Starbucks, Target, Walmart. Misplay has a huge catalog of games. They have everything from strategy to adventure to word games, card games, and more. I like to play as a way to unwind after work and over $100 million in gift cards have already been redeemed. The game that I am absolutely loving to play right now that I have a feeling you guys really enjoy is called Goods Tidy. And it is this very satisfying organizing game. I am playing that actively working towards an AMC gift card so I can treat myself to a movie night. You can do the same. All you have to do is visit misplay.com slash Carla or click the link in the description box below to download Misplay for free. You'll get 200 bonus points for signing up today. Plus use my code Carla inside the app for an additional 100 free points, which will help towards redeeming your first gift card. See description for all details. Thanks to Misplay for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to decluttering. So some of this is getting into bike stuff now. And this is stuff you actually use though. I use it. So it's it. like more function than like, like my workout clothes can be kind of grungy too. So it's just really, yeah. 
personal preference of weight. That's a good one. But I don't need two of them or three of them. <laughs> Cycling gear we're going to go gear. through. This is very much a material girl. Right? Yes. Oh, God. I so would have pulled We went to I go see Madonna. That. She changed our lives. We went a week ago. <laughs> I'm wearing my bootleg t-shirt that I bought in the parking lot. You haven't taken it off since the <laughs> concert. I've <laughs> been <laughs> wearing it for eight days. Rapid wall shoe declutter, starting at the top. Yeah. Fun fact is Michael has plantar fasciitis. Oh, and So yes. lots of these shoes <laughs> do not work anymore. Keep them? I mean, they're, yeah, maybe. Keep I can wear them briefly. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is so hard because I keep thinking my feet are going to get better. Were some of these shoes the contributors to my plantar fasciitis? And oh. if so, get them out. They will let you shop. Until you drop. I mean, they've always felt great until I actually take them out for a long hike. So mm. I just don't want to get rid of them yet because I'm. You might, you might use them. These are problematic. They are okay. Vans, even though we love vans. We love vans. They're not the most comfortable though, to be mm, honest. No. Actually. Black. You know, there's this weird instinct to keep something just because it's nice. Uh, it's really funny. I feel myself wanting to do that, but. I, these, I'm gonna, I mean, maybe somebody would take them without pencils, but what, aqua socks? Oh, Remember? yeah. I mean, maybe I wear them. I should keep them around, though. They're like a... I have, I have those, too. Yeah, it's a need. We were just talking about 
how style changes mm -hmm. over the years. And so it's like, I used to wear these fry boots. Oh, fry boots definitely sell. These I never wear. They were another hand-me-down. Black boots, so. Those are cute. Perfect. They're Moroccan house shoes. Oh yeah, did you go to Morocco? Uh, I did not, but a friend did. Probably sell these or yeah, put them in the crossroads bag. Put them in the maybes. Okay, so one was a keep, one was a... Do you wear a maybe? So we did Michael's clothes, we did yeah. your shoes, now this was all of the accoutrements that were hanging out, kind of like in the nooks and crannies. Okay, so this, this suit was from before, that's a cute party. <laughs> I think I need a new weekender bag. Like, you don't ever actually use it to I mean, travel. I do. But yeah. It, yeah. So we'll yeah. keep that. But we'll for keep now. that. Yeah, we can probably store it better. Or use it for something to store. All right, this fan here. There was another big fan too. This is a heater. Oh, it's a heater. Yeah. Okay, so this is a heat, heater right? Fan. Just I think so. Store. Even though I don't use it, it's like a. It's a need. Um, this is some sort of. It's a rug. Oh, sort rug of bag. Stop. This so. Keep? Yeah. Okay. Keep. These are trashy for painting and stuff. So. Oh, when you're painting something. Okay, yeah. so this is a keep. This is what toss. about this? This is toss. Yeah. This can, I mean, you can. Donate. If somebody wants it. It's a nice color. This is a workout thing that I probably could and should use. So and it's small enough that I'm going to keep it. Okay, workout thingy. This lampshade is a problem, and I want it to never. I never want to see it again. Yeah, are you done with this? I'm done with it. <laughs> what was it doing in the closet? It was on that lamp out there, but it's oh. too big for that. Got it. This, this is, is just good. a good bag, okay. so I'm going to keep this because I like it. All of these bags are keep, right? These are little pads for my kitchen chairs or uncomfortable chairs. So oh, okay. Yeah, space. so that's this. But this they is take like up a lot of space. Camping. Yeah. Camping. Well, this is like the kind of stuff people would normally have in their garage, but it's yeah. like stuff that you are maybe within a year's time frame you may use. Maybe. This is a keep. This is a keep. Yeah, maybe I'll keep this belt. Single belt, keep. I like this guy. Yeah. Um, I just haven't been to the beach in a while, so. This summer, beach. It's I, happening. Thank you. Yes. Beach and camping. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's this little? These are good speakers that I've used with my computer. I've used oh, with, okay. for my TV. I just, they've been so good and useful that mm -hmm. I feel like I should keep them around, but I'm not using them anymore. I mean, my, I don't need them for my computer. I don't need them for my TV. So maybe. Maybe I don't need them. This um, is that? just like a useful side table that folds up pretty. Oh, that's cool. Like, it's yeah. Pretty that easy. Is good. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Trash. This is like a knee brace or something. Yeah, I should probably. Bike here. These are good. Yeah. I'll keep. Okay. This is when I go play golf like once a, every two years. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. There we go. What are they called? Bike locks. locks. I think I even have a third one of these. So we're gonna. I'm gonna relocate and then. Okay. Uh, We're trying to figure out a solution for his closet. This is the offending corner. We're just trying to figure out something because neither of us are handy and we're not going to be building shelves. Like the ideal would be like, I, I think there's a company called like hire a husband or something. I think he's us lunch. We basically are just going to stack things over here in this corner because he has bins that we want to move from under the bed. Yeah. He has that closet that's been mostly closed, but also there's a bins. lot of chaos happening at the bottom of like some bins and like a treasure chest. Whereas this half of the closet, there were hanging jackets. He just decluttered a bunch of them. So I feel like if only the hanging clothes are on this side, on this one extremely high clothing rack, this side can just be used as storage. It'll be great. And then and then I ditch think this thing. We'll have to get rid of this. Because this Which thing isn't really adding. And it's too big for the space because I won't be able to access. Yeah, he easily. can't actually get to that corner. 
And it's not needed as much now that you are kind of like getting rid of quite a few of the things, just like getting bins organized, that stack that if you need to access, you can, but you know, it's stuff that you don't access regularly, yeah. like that camping stuff, like, you yeah. know, those kinds of things. Okay. So that's our new goal. We're going to move this thing out, you have awesome. your, your cleaning supplies in that corner, and then we're going to kind of start moving things into that corner. Great. Yay. Getting rid of this Calyx unit that was in the closet was the best thing we could have done because it was blocking entrance to that corner over there. So he could never get to it. He just kept tossing things in and never taking them out. So now we're going to use that hard to access corner as his storage zone. And we'll just stack a bunch of bins up as high as it can go. And then on the right side of the closet will be where he hangs his winter clothing and such. But yeah, now we're starting to go through these bins one at a time, one item at a time, and just seeing what else there is to let go of. Let's do like no. whatever is the least accessible, you know, no. once we get all the bins organized at the bottom. I mean, there. maybe my hiking yeah. boots. And then maybe water shoes. Outdoors. We'll just make this Oh, outdoors. yeah. Okay. What else is outdoors? The baseball glove. Yeah. The camping mat. His daughter made for me. That's it's lovely. Sentimental. That's beautiful, yeah. honestly. Uh, over here is just one. Um, this is just photographs. Um, so this I know can go and get condensed with something that's in there another one that has similar stuff that's in there that's not full and then th these are files old files okay and there's two of these there's one uh, one and a half of these oh do you think they can be consolidated or is this all to keep this is organized but it's also you know yeah I'm, at some point i can go through it but it's just going to take time. oh yeah that's a bigger project so Yeah, I feel like they, I mean, they're with, they come with the apartment, so. Oh, it's one of those things you're, you're holding onto for the sake of the apartment. Yeah, that fits nicely. Yeah, it's like perfect. that's great. What, what about this thing here? I'm getting rid of it. Goodbye. Yep. That was easy. What else is in there? Hats, uh, and then some just other, this was like my old workout bag, so I need to kind of go through, needs to go. These, I hate hat like, None of these fit me. Are they I mean, all going? Goodbye. This is like maybe for hiking. Okay. Smoky. That's hiking. This color is terrible. Do you Horrible. like this? Horrible. No. Okay. I don't. <laughs> I was going to say you're welcome. To... This has sentimental value. Donate. 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 Although I think I might keep these. That whole bin, it sounds like that's all a keep because those are all like journals, old notebooks, and stuff like that. Here's this is odds and ends that needs to be gone through. It's kind of a junk box. Okay. Uh, but it's, I think it, I can go through it pretty quickly. It's okay. like you don't have that much height though, honestly, actually. No, there's a little depth, you know. Yeah. Trash bag, crossroads, which is donate, also donate. This is try on pile. This is donate. These are going to be stored. This is all donate as well. And that's trash over there. There's this more. This is a junk box that I'm going to go through oh, good. with just stuff. So And see what you want to get rid of. He's having some decluttering. I think you've seen it in bulk. Like when I go through, I usually do <laughs> one of these piles. Or oh yeah, no, this is a lot. You are significantly house. resetting. It is going to feel amazing though tonight. He's never been more ready. We just finished lunch, so. <laughs> 
We are ready for decluttering. We're gonna start wrapping it up. He doesn't know how fast it goes once we get to this point, but it goes pretty fast. And I told him we're gonna drop off all of this stuff too, so that it's not just sitting in his <laughs> so living room right now, <laughs> where he's gonna like, start back pull, exactly right, pulling you know, things. Sitting. Yeah, no, it's gonna leave the house. Maybe this game is fun, I'll keep it. Cool. These were another wish buy. They say bows on them. <laughs> they're not bows. I don't think they're bows. <laughs> I mean, you tell me. <laughs> These are definitely not. <laughs> These are not bows. These are foes. <laughs> <laughs> if you are dealing with bins, boxes, clutter bags, baskets, I think the best way to go through something like this it's just 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, every day, sit down, set a timer and go through a bin. If you did that a little bit every day, it really does add up over time. You don't have to do a huge decluttering project like what we're doing. I'm doing it with them. It's a lot easier. I know the whole process, but if you're doing it by yourself and you're overwhelmed, 10 minutes a day. Is this teenage high school? No, these are kind of uh, graduate school. Let me see. But some of this is undergrad. Oh my gosh, look how little like you are. You're so young. Studying abroad. Whoa. And then I, I taught on an Air Force base. No way. A military base. In so Mexico. handsome. <laughs> Thanks, but I look like a troubled youth in this. <laughs> ah, I was not that, doing... that does look kind of like a, um, <laughs> what is it called? A mugshot. <laughs> Another empty bin. We're going places. We're doing things. Look at all this stuff. Now we got to find homes for all of this. And um, we're going to relocate that chest. Which was great. Oh my God, my old professor and me. Oh, wow. Uh, Dennis. He's going to declutter this and make a little bit of space so that we can get rid of this box. minutes to go through the chest of drawers in his closet. Let's see how he's doing. How is it going? It's amazing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I only have this one, this thing left of this chest and then this is going back in. That's all tossed. Wow. But it's, that was a lot to kind of like Oh, that's through. good. Oh, this is another one of these. Did we put that back in or that European? Oh, I put it on the murder? bed for now. Oh, good. Okay. There was a reason like I kept these things at one point in my life, but that reason is no longer valid. You know, those reasons aren't valid anymore. Previous lifetimes. Yeah. This is a my, good one. my letter from my grandma. I mean, stuff like this I'll keep. But... Yeah. Feel my excitement. Yes, it's <laughs> palpable. And then a hook that's gonna go up. Yes, we need and another hook we want for that boogie board too. We have a new bike. Uh, yes, bike drawer has drawer. been created. Bike gear. Gear. It's cool. You want them in there? Uh, yeah. We can kind of fold. Cool. Everything's kind of. That's the good go. thing about this stuff. It's... I put my trunk 
my memory, my like sort of memento things on the bottom. Yeah. And I still think I can get those two down into one someday, which is will be great. And then I put my camping stuff after that, my outdoor stuff, and then these are more like my memento blankets, linens. linens I yeah. Guess. I think this can even probably get tossed. It's starting. To oh yeah. Break oh anyway. great. And I think I emptied it, so. Don't need it. No. This got emptied. This got emptied. Because I know that thing at the bottom is wider. Might have to go on top of it. Perfectly. No. <laughs> yes. So we got the room cleared. Now it's down to all of the stuff that we're going to get out of the house. This is all going into Donate Crossroads. Do you want to take the stuff that you're going to take to Crossroads? Do you want me to help you take it down to your car so that it's like in your trunk? That'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. sure. So we want everything out of the house. No yeah. presentation. Extra pillows. Any of these that you want out right now, or do you want them all stored in the closet? You have room. Those I'm going to keep. Those That pile right there. Yeah, yeah. Where do you want them stored, though? In the closet? You I think? think in the closet, yeah. And which one? The bedroom's back in order. It looks good. These are like the temporary solutions because we are going to do a run to container store, but we're running out of time today. It's I mean, it's like, what, almost four? I think we've been working for... Since 11. Yeah. Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah, break by break, now let me ooh, ooh, ooh I wanna be right there by your side I wanna be there, won't you be in my bed, five to twelve, wish I could sleep. Dream about all the ways you could reach me. But now you keep missing out on me, that's for sure. Well, we did it. <laughs> It's four o'clock. <laughs> He's in shock right now. <laughs> and a little high. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a lot. We're gonna carry stuff down to the car, which is actually that's like the hard part, and then getting it to the donation place. We're also gonna go and do the <laughs> it's donation. It's not over yet. It's not over. Just when you think you're done, you're not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, how do I thank you? We did. I think this is thanks enough. <laughs> Pat ready so, to drive off yeah i'm headed to out of the closet uh which is a great nonprofit organization by the way um, it is for those in southern california or la day two hi we're gonna do some organizing today i think you're at a place now where you feel like you've gotten rid of the majority of what you want to get rid of maybe yeah. bar the kitchen right maybe that's one area you still want to eventually do the files yeah oh, some paperwork. office files and the, there but it's i have like a whole new baseline okay so come with us i love the container store i'm excited to go to the container store that's my happy place let's see what we can find Yes, always like overbuying because you can always return. I, I think I want this. Look at Target. We're not finding anything. I think we're going to have to go to the container store. This is the saddest day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bueno, Consolidate, I kind of linen bins from the container store. Cause this is the stuff that was just laying out on that top shelf there, loose.
long sleeve and short sleeve workout tops, t-shirts, tanks, swim trunks, exercise shorts, exercise pants. These are just shorts, right? Yeah. And then that's um, nightwear, right? Yes. Okay, let's put it in the closet and see how it looks. You do? Okay, so that's a yes. No. Oh, you I mean, don't? I haven't worn it yet. So, so you don't like that one? No. A lot of problem solving and trying things out. It's better than it was though, that's for sure. Overall, the closet is much, much better. Oh, do you want one of these little hooks for your tote bag? I think I'll look for something a little different. <laughs> a little more. <laughs> it's his polite way of saying he doesn't like my little plastic hooks. Michael took his stuff to Crossroads, which is a local consignment shop. They were very picky. <laughs> they were picky, but pretty quick. Uh, I got $65 in credit, I think, and they only took maybe four items. Okay. Two, two coats and maybe two shirts. So and everything else out of the closet? Which was in really good shape. It yeah. just was like not what they wanted, so the rest I took out of the closet. If you want to be a former version of me, go to the out of, out of the closet, like stat, and you can do, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, $65 in credit. So if you want to buy anything else there. Is yeah. that right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, it's not bad. We didn't get everything that we wanted today, but like, there's little things. There's like a hook to be bought, yes. a little cute thingy. There were some wins and some losses. We got the shoe organizer. <laughs> You're almost done done. Okay. I'm almost, yeah, yeah. I'm way over the hump. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys another time. Leave a comment. Bye. Bye.